Now then, we're about to do a job in Italy. And the only way to get through it is if we all work together as a team. Hello and welcome to a very special edition of Toy Shop on Tour. We're in France. I tell you what, it's nice being in the front seat for a change instead of ducking in the back of the van with all the toys trying to keep out of shot. So Joe, I suppose the question is, why are we driving through France? Well, Matt, I'm glad you asked, because we've been given a very special mission. Yes, this is called the Italian job, because we've been given a job to do, and it takes place in Rome, in Italy, at the Toy Simi Show. Toy Simi. So, have you ever done a show outside of the UK before? Nope, never. This is my first one. I'm going into it completely blind, and let's face it, those regular viewers will know that I really don't know what I'm doing at the best of times. But luckily, help is on hand to help me out. Why? Who's going to be there? Well, we've got Leo, local hero from Italy, oh. and we've also got arriving, we thought we were travelling a long way, Billy Galaxy is arriving all the way from the United States of America, especially to help us out on our Italian job, because we've been given a mission. And that mission has been given to us by a very, very special client. Then I suppose we need to... Roll BT! Hello. We're here to see an old friend. I'm really excited about this. Come on. That's right, it's a small dog. Who's that? I'm warning you, we've got some big guard dogs in here. Yeah. Come on, boys, get him. Hey. Pumpkin, get him, get him. We've come to only come to see the dogs, John. <laughs> Joe, how are you? Right, Matt, nice to see, see you again. You. Where's hey, Gav? He's left the abode for now. You can buy him some long trousers and packed him off into the world. I don't know what he's doing, mate. I would like a picture of him with a little knapsack with a little handkerchief knotted up there, carded Boba Fett in it, and that's it. He's going off to make his own fortune. Well, if he's got a card of Boba Fett, it's not mine. <laughs> you wouldn't have kicked him out if you had no, a card of Boba Fett. Well, welcome. This is my place in the country. I'm not going to give you too many details because I don't want you ever to come back. However, I have got... It's rude. It's so rude, people. I've got a load of old toys in here, and I thought, who better to share it with, and who better to actually allow me and help me to free them back out into the wild than you? That's it. I'm excited. You guys can get excited. Let's see what we can find. Some treasures and some junk. And not always the way. Come on in. Let's go through some boxes. He's a good boy. He's a good boy. He is a good boy. Quite a heavy boy. Not compared to some of us. Yeah, well, I'm not going to carry you around. That's the Well, difference. that's okay, what you so. think when you sign up for this. <laughs> So there's a lot of stuff, some of it I want to, you know what it is, already I've got uh, a sense of regret coming in saying, can I, can I actually live without any of this stuff? Issues. Can I live without any of it? You know, it's that terrible thing, isn't it? Do we charge more for the dust? Uh, patina. Patina. Just antique dealers call it patina, so well, therefore. Loved. Look at that, look at that patina on that, that one. Hey? Patina? Is it patina Pat or patina? Oh, she was a lovely girl, patina. <laughs> She's lovely. <laughs> we probably can't say that anymore. Sure no, we can't. can't. Was in box. I mean, these are things I do love. You know, one day somebody will be talking about this going, well, the thing is, you see, you don't see them with the polystyrene bit at the front. Yeah. It's that sort of stuff. But this, that, they don't make them like this in the way, do they? No, I think this don't is an earlier edition. These are the fairly early editions. I found a little room. Got oh, these Captain Action. They're really cool. These Billy Blast Off, and oh, I love these. Billy Blastoff stuff. It's not particularly popular. It's not easy to sell, but it, what it is, it's super cool. I love this sort of stuff. So yeah, it's very John. I promise, I don't know what John wants to get rid of. I know he mentioned these earlier. See, Fisher-Price constructs. I'm a big Fisher-Price fan anyway. But I'm more the adventure people stuff. But there's some great stuff in here. Oh, I don't think these are going, are they? Full set of Gilbert. James Bond figures. These are beautiful. I'll show you through the... I don't want to unwrap. I can wrap it, can't I? John won't, John won't mind. Will you, John? These are great little figures. When I started out years ago, this is Goldfinger. When I started out years ago, you could find hundreds of these. They were relatively cheap as well. They seem to be everywhere. But they're brilliant. Really cool little thing, but now, it's been a while since I've seen any of these. Very cool little set. Oh, extra value. 
Matthew. Cosmic Ledger Alien Attack. That's just so cool. So it's cool. it reminds me of that Book Rogers play set they did, but the plastic's really brittle. Oh, it's awful, but I hope you want to get rid of that because I really like that. It's really nice. There's some robotics, which is, you know, I mean, these are quite an underrated toy line in my opinion, robotics, but they are still mega cheap. Wow. Battery operated bullet Skyliner. That's amazing. Isn't that beautiful though? Look, how's this survived? And I love that, don't you love that printing straight onto the cardboard? Where you get the two or three colours. Beautiful made, look. And this is, you put caps in there. Yeah. Presumably it's not rusty, but nah, I mean. When you think about it. Can that, I though, bear to let that go though? I don't want you to let it go now. The reason why so few of these survived in good shape is this mortar basically is like a platform in there that's pulled down on the spring and loaded. When you release it, it pushes up, and so whatever's on it just goes flying at the end. So it's very really unsophisticated. These don't, there's no grooves for these to go in. They just go in and sit on the, it's like the old idea of like someone being a human cannibal. You know, someone standing on a platform and the platform sends them up. So over the years, when kids were playing this, once you set it up, you can put anything in there. So people would, kids would pack it with stone, mud, whatever, and fire it out. So these got wet all the time. The cardboard tubing got wet, and of course, when it gets wet, it eventually what? So, I've seen loads of these where only the plastic parts and part of the plastic survives. I've seen very few where it has the whole plastic tube on. And, and the ones you will find will almost, without doubt, be still in their original packaging. Ones that were out and reused, the, the cardboard's gone. So that's why they're so hard to find. But this is such a beautiful box. This is the display box that would have been that, obviously, flipping up and that being on display in the shop. And I love the, look, see? War's not scary, kids. He's having a great time. Yeah, smiling. Having a you. great time, look, and what are they blowing up are there? It's not other people, it's just a mound of earth. They're probably attacking, and it's probably an ant hill. If you've got a pest problem, yeah, that's for chasing off mosquitoes. Toys from the 60s. Yeah. I mean, that's so weird. The, the fact that guns, you don't see gun toys anymore. No. Most of them, they've stopped making but it. It doesn't matter, though. Even as a kid, I wasn't allowed guns. Weren't you? But no, you had a stick. Why weren't you allowed guns? I wasn't allowed guns. I. I don't think my parents cared enough about me to police what I was playing with. We didn't have guns because we couldn't afford them. Yeah. And you're right, we did use sticks. But one local kid had a Johnny Seven gun. Oh, and I think I told you so. And that's why I've now got about 20 Johnny Seven guns because yeah. it was envy and a sense of entitlement that yeah. I finally got around to buying them all for myself. I know a guy off Leicester Market who had his Johnny Seven repossessed. Oh my. They bought, it on, the, they got it, they bought it on the Never Never on the catalogue. At Christmas. Oh, the shame. And then in February, they came to get it. The shame. The but he shame. had an amazing two months running around like he was boss of the neighbourhood. Who would want a used Johnny Seven gun? Well, we would now, but yeah. back then, who wanted it? <laughs> what did they do with it? I don't think I've got any Johnny Seven guns here, although I've got quite a few back in London. But this is the Johnny Seven helmet. Um, as you can see, beautifully stored. Still all in there. I've got no idea whether it still works. But the walkie talkie, it's a great looking thing, isn't it? Let's put that back in there. This you can take. So I want to see this. I want a nice display in Leicester of that, that, that. I want it only to go to a good home. No pressure. I want to go to an aggressive, warlike family. Yeah. Who want to, who want to raise children in the ways of violence and territorial <laughs> revenge. Oh, yeah. That kind of thing. You know what this is. Eggs. From where? Alien. Yes. And these are unopened. So we don't know what's in them. They're mystery eggs. It's they like, work. <laughs> it's the scary version of a Kinder Surprise. Yeah. So this, where, this are, one, they, are these Japanese? No, these came from Super 7, I think, in the States. Ah, uh, I know, yeah, yeah, yeah. That's got a glow, a, oh. a sparkly ripply. It's a bit adventure people, that. But some of them have got uh, aliens in. Should we Not crack one open? Oh, ho, ho. what have we got? This is fun, isn't it? Hmm. Oh, look, um, with the uh, face, the yeah, face, face sticking out, the out chest of his burst chest. Up. Yeah. What was his name, John Hurt's character in this? Hey, hey, oh, I'm rubbish with films, John, you know. Hicks, no. Hicks Boson? No. Henry? Henry? No. Harvey? Where? John Hurt. John Hurt in Alien. Yeah. See that? That'll do. It certainly did hurt as well. I it? imagine that. That's a terrible joke. You see, it certainly did hurt. <laughs> This is, um, in Japan, I think it's called Dorame, or Dorame. Dorame or Dorame, something like that. 
and he's just a lovable cat character. You can get money banks with him on, you can get like moving figures, there's old tin and metal toys, die cast toys from the 60s with him in. This is a weird kind of flying thing. Does it thing. fly? Yeah, it's mine. that's just polystyrene. So that's like a moldy shaped polystyrene, beautifully done. So super light, and he's got a propeller on his head, and with the control on, he will fly. Isn't that beautiful? Amazing. So we've got one of those there, and we've got another one of those over there. Yeah, so you've got at least two of those. Brilliant. I'll go and get the other one. So the last type, well, I don't know, with the tinted stuff, should I get rid of the tinted stuff? Well, is it sought after? No, I'm gonna have it for me. I love Tintin. <laughs> so hold on, so what chance have I got of getting a fair price for that? If the dealer who's meant to be looking after me, he's just taking it home, and he's gonna tell me, oh, you know what? It's worth nothing. That was Nobody that. wants that anymore. I tell you what, Tom. that Tintin landfill, I'll take it off your hands for you. It's probably gonna charge me. What, when you buy it back? Yeah, well, I would buy it. We'll swap for toys. That does happen, <laughs> doesn't it? It's so do. grim, isn't it? It's like, you know that thing I sold you? Have you still got it? Yeah, can I get it back? Yeah, it happens all the time. I'll have a look at them before we just go. Let me just double check them. There might be one I want to keep on, because I love Tintin, don't you? Well, like keep, Tintin? keep the main two. Keep the main and two. And but and haven't I got spares of those as well, in there? You've got loose ones, but you want, you've didn't got I two boxes. Didn't I have I got the box of those? Mm. Mm. Keep them. Maybe I will. Okay. Okay. There's some stuff in the cupboard yeah, there. Yeah, stuff in the cupboard. Let's go in the cupboard. Let's go in the cupboard. Things I like in the cupboard. Okay, so, oh yeah. What do you like in the cupboard? This. That's cool. Do you know how I got this off? Go on. Someone we both know? Billy. Billy Galaxy. Billy Galaxy, there we go. Portland's finest. So Billy, I've known for years, because I, I used to buy toys off him online. I thought, that's a cool name, Billy Galaxy. Of course, don't want to spoil your it's illusion. Not his real name. Not his real name. Um, and then I bought stuff. Janice like Galaxy, in case you're wondering. Of, some of the guns we're going to see here. I bought, I bought a big, he had a load of like sci-fi guns once, and I just bought a big box of them off him. Then years later, before I knew you existed, the only other time I had a colour toys, I got with loads of toys in my, my house in, my office, sorry, in London Paddington, not the one you went to. And I thought, oh, I wanted this to go to good people. I didn't know there were any reputable t dealers in the UK. I thought there were just, I just thought there were men who dealt with like dinky toys and even yeah, Brighton yeah, yeah. figures, you know, no, I didn't know people who appreciated this sort of stuff. So I boxed it all off and I sent it over to Billy Galaxy and it cost me like $2,000 to send it over to him. He sold about 4,000. I said, give my half to a local charity. Yeah. I'm, I'm about, 4,000 down at the end yeah. of the deal. I could have just given it to you. I've got a feeling I'm going to pay for that though. Yeah. So they always end up paying for Billy some way. And then Billy I'd never met until I bumped into him somewhere. You will never guess why I bumped into Billy Galaxy. You would not think you'd, you know, where, where do you think you might bump into a fellow toy enthusiast? Japan. Right, no. Portland? No. Go on then. Well, you only had two guesses. What's... All right, are we going to go through the entire world till we get to it? Three guess minimum. All right, okay. Um, Canterbury. No. Scotland. No. Well, you had, you're waiting for your guesses. Oh, you right. get away. Oh, okay. I'm not going to tell you. Come on, let's go. <laughs> Iceland. No way. Iceland, swimming in the Blue Lagoon in Iceland. And this bloke shouts out, Jonathan. And I thought some bloke in the I went, well, you know. Uh, he went, no, no, Jonathan, it's me. It's Billy Galaxy. I went, <laughs> He was in his trunks. We're both in our trunks. Men in their trunks meeting in a hot, steaming sauna room in Iceland. I've got a question. Neither of us Icelandic. Did he, was, was he wearing his cowboy hat? He was not wearing his cowboy hat. <laughs> that's, that's, that's a rarity. For dinner that night, and it was a weird little hotel thing, because we were eating in the same restaurant at night, and for dinner that night, he was wearing a, a Western shirt. Yeah. Not a cowboy hat. He was being respectful to the Icelandic ways. All right. Yeah, because a troll doesn't like a hat. All right, so this, you know what though, I've never got this out yet, and I might get this out and play with it before I let you have that's it. That's right. Is that what you're after? What were you looking at that you liked the idea of? Um, have you seen that Alien Attack set? That's really cool. See, that makes you think the battery should be involved, isn't it? Is, but is it Cosmic Leader or is it Cosmic Ledger? Cosmic Ledger's a bit weird. Cos I think it's a Cosmic Ledger. Cosmic Ledger. It's like somebody just writing notes but really spaced out. Yeah, it's like an accountant. Yeah. Space station with retractable ladder, removable dome, two alien space cruisers. It is, it's like, it's exactly this. It is the Book Rogers one. Do you want to take off the cling film and have a look what we got in there? Yeah. Okay. That's over, amazing. Over 50 pieces it claims. This, I, I think I think this is great though. Do you know what this is? This is like an Astro version of frustration. I enjoy toys finding new homes, as long as I don't want them too much. Yeah, I know what home you like and enjoy in your home. No, I'm very good actually, my wife won't let me. You yeah. know why I'm getting rid of stuff is, I've got too much. I went to a guy's house a couple of weeks ago, and he told me to come over, he told me how much he wanted. I got to the point of sending him the money, and I looked at his face, and I just saw him, and I went, 
you don't want to do this, do you? And he went, I don't know. So well, that was like all, that was like half a day. None of us want to do it, but at the same time... Yeah, it is. It's the same as the book I just said. Look at that. Yeah. So has it got the cardboard? Yeah. So these are the figures like the Adventure 2000 ones. Matchbox, not, uh, Matchbox is, Nick the Moulds uh, for these. Ah, uh, yeah. The Adventure 2000 ones. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Remember? What, with the little metal cars? Yeah, yeah. Although these look slightly more robust. And that, I've got a set of, I've got something with a similar, similar thing. No. Thinner plastic, I've got um, a, 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 another space set. Yeah, they're cool, they're cool there. But look, still bagged. Yeah. And then we've got this, the blown Th plastic. This is the bit there. that's always broken. Look at that, immaculate. Yeah, that's always broken. That is thin plastic, isn't it? Yeah. This needs to be on display properly though, you know what I mean? This needs to be somewhere where it's out all the time. Don't you think? No, I'm happy to see this go. Look, I love it, it's great, but I've got to start getting rid of stuff. You get to a certain age, how old are you now, Joe? 47. Okay, well I'm 62, right? Yeah. You get to a certain age where you do know you are gonna die, right? And I know this makes you sad thinking of me dying. It does. But probably sadder than any of your family members dying, it makes you sadder than that. I mean, if you had to choose, if you had to choose between me and your wife, you'd save me, wouldn't you? Um. Oh, this is on camera. No, I'm definitely going to save Jen. Sorry, Joe. <laughs> the, the mere fact that you had to think about it. I that. had to think about it because I would have got killed. Yeah. Um, I would save. I'd face your wrath over Jen. I'd probably save honestly. your wife as well because I've, I've lived She's amazing life. as well, my I've wife. I've heard of so many, just, just so cool. many men talk glowingly of her. Oh. <laughs> um, but, uh, <laughs> oh, dear. Uh, you just think you've got too much stuff in your life. And it's like, it, be, it gets to the stage where it sort of feels a bit like it's, uh, it's a weight yeah. that you're dragging along behind you. And yeah, that, that was, I think, probably in some way in my office with too much light on it. It was probably crisper when I got it. Yeah. So the stuff that came here to the barn, some of it over the years was just moving out of the house. And uh, some of it though, like this, was in my office in Canada that you visited. But yeah. when I started clearing it out, I realized the stuff I've got there, it looks so much better when it's not overwhelming. Mm. When there's not, you know, it, it looks, for example, like the furniture I've got, it looks great when you've got a piece of furniture and it hasn't got piles on every corner of it, of yeah. books or toys. If you've got a, a beautiful piece of 60s furniture and it's just mm. hanging there or it's sitting there on its own, then it looks amazing. Same as this sort of thing, like this, if that was on a shelf like that with the toy in front of it, it would look amazing. Yeah. When it's just like that, Stacks away on a bookshelf in my office where it has been for 15 years is not so amazing. And I think someone should enjoy this because this is a beautiful thing. Yeah. You know? And I bought it because I was collecting just random anything that was 60s or 70s space toys, I would buy. Yeah. For a while, just because I like I really love space toys. I really that sort of stuff. But then I, I don't have a wing of space toys that I can dedicate to it. So I'm gonna let it I'm gonna let it go. Isn't that beautiful? See, I'm you know I collect adventure people. I know. So, so I've got a soft spot for these as well. I know where this is going to wind up. <laughs> that. I bet you, if you go around his house in about six months' time, there'll be a picture of my face on the dartboard that his wife uses in the kitchen. Yeah. And she'll be cursing me out every day. Uh, I might get rid of that. I want yeah, to bite, you bite your finger. Amazing, isn't it? I love that sort of thing. Gilbert. So you've got a complete James Bond in there. Good news now, there. Time was in the 90s, they were everywhere, weren't they? They were. Well, I bought this fairly recently because I bought a set. I had a set in my office and I gave it to someone for a birthday present. Big James Bond fan, David Williams. We gave it a birthday present. And then afterwards I thought, where's my James Bond figures? So I bought that online to replace it. Right. But then I forgot that when I gave it to him, I'd already ordered another set online. So then two sets turned up. John Bowerman likes Micronauts. He knows of Micronauts. We had a, a brief discussion about Biotron. I said I'd give him a Biotron. Nick Rhodes from Duran Duran expressed a great interest in Johnny Seven Guns. And I said I'd give him one. Never did, never got around to it. I will do. Um, you sent that Evil Knievel bike to... No, I didn't give it to him yet. Idris. I got the Evil oh, Knievel bike off you for Idris Elba. No, I've got it in my office waiting for him. I phoned him and he said, oh yeah, I'll come out here. Is it a surprise? Not no, really. You know, oh, well, right. I said I've got something for you, and we've been talking about that, so he might have not guessed it. Now, these are weird toys, aren't they? These are like, what were they called? Mega Blocks. Oh, and yeah. And these are kind of cool, but kind of horrible. Now, I'm going on more on the horrible side. Yeah, you know why? Because you're an old man. This is what a kid would say. This is kids, but they would go, that is the bee's knees, man. That's the new phrase they the use. new phrase. Is it, that is the bee's knees. This is. <laughs> This was fine, but it got damaged in transit, so I've got to repair this before I put it up. This is just like a wall-mounted speaker. But I think just that came off there, so hopefully it's just a power. No, it's not power. 70s. We on Vega. That's cool, 
So that was like, they used to have this in yeah. shops and places like that, and it was like oh. you'd have pipe music come through. And that would connect to the, that would connect, that's where it's got damaged. Let's see the thing still in it. Easy to repair though, isn't it? That's like, it looks like an old valve amp, you know, like the top of an old bass amp. It's nice though, isn't it? But this cool. is the kind of thing I want to have in the garage, I want to store it up so it looks good. Uh, What's the, uh... Ah, uh, you know what though? Is that an empty box? No, I think it's an empty box. And you know what's annoying is, I had like a complete run of dino riders, which if I'd have kept, <coughs> I would, guess where I sent them to? Billy. Billy? Yeah. And then I didn't even get any money out of it, because I gave it to charity. And now I'm thinking, I would love that set of dino riders, because I realise think dino riders are so cool. But this is just the box and the instructions. But, worth holding on to. Yeah, definitely. Do you want to take it? If you, do you not want to take it for when you I haven't got any dino riders at the moment, and like, realistically, I looked online, they've gone crazy price-wise. They aren't as, back when I bought that, I, I bought that probably 20 years ago, you could find them online. Yeah. And I got, or I had almost everything at one stage, you're trying to make that fatter, but you flatten it down. Mm, yeah, it's all right, I can, no, don't flatten it, no. Don't flatten it, I'll sort it. Down I'll sort it. There you go, look. Yeah, longer on. We'll do that. Like an iron, that. I mean, it'd be hard to have a short one, let's be honest. I mean, of all the things to insult me with, that's kind of not an obvious one. You know that bloke, you know the one with the really short, like a T-Rex? Oi, short arms. That's what you hear sometimes when you walk out. Oi. I keep mishearing that. <laughs> <laughs> so I've got a funny Robert Dog story for you. Now, who was after Robert? It was, uh, Gav was after Robert. You're going to enjoy this story. So a friend of mine, that's those, friend of mine had his first child recently. Joel Domit. Very nice bloke. You're known from The Masked yeah. Singer, any other shows. Him and his wife, Hannah had their first baby, a little boy called Wild. And in advance of having the baby, I bought a few presents for them, but I held on to them because you'd recently hold on to the baby's born just in case and he goes, you know, one was yeah. stressful for them. And I had them at home on my table and I'd wrapped some of them. I hadn't got around to wrap more than yet. And um, there was other stuff near the table. And I said to the person who helps us out at home, we basically, would you mind wrapping the rest of those things over there for me? Because it's for Joel's baby and he's just had the baby. I'm probably gonna send them over next week. She said, okay, so I came and they're all wrapped. I ordered a taxi to come and take it over to Joel. Load it in one, one box, felt a bit heavy in the others. I couldn't remember what it was, put it in there. Then he got a phone call and he said, I love the presents. He said, so mad, that robot dog. And one of my Sony robot dogs had been on the floor under the table and they'd wrapped it and sent it over. And in the moment, rather than say, oh my God, it was like, I went, yeah, I just thought it'd be fun. <laughs> my wife says to me, why did you tell him that? I said, I don't know. So then when I saw the next time, I said, I've got to be honest with you, that was a mistake. He said, we wonder why he said, we thought it was hilarious, but we didn't know what he sent. I said, look, I want you to keep it, keep it, keep it for a while, one day you'll appreciate it. So they've got a Sony Ibo, by mistake. Someone will want this, won't they? Yeah, Duffo. Needs a bit of tidying up. I think it's only dust on that one. Okay. Dr. Doom. Yeah, he's cool. But I've also got a Thor that's got a bit rusty. Now I bought some rust remover and put it on there, but it needs a good brushing off. Yeah. Are you up to the task? Me, brushing off. <laughs> See, this one didn't get rusty. You know why? Because Dr. Doom coated his face in vibranium. Almost definitely. That's nice, isn't it? I am getting rid of it though, don't I? Are you sure? Yeah. Sounds like an American talk show host as well. Rusty Thor. Now, please welcome. Look, I think that is a real pattern. Though. So that is... That's cool. I put some rust remover on it and haven't brushed it off yet. But, you can take this. You know what? It's not going to fit. Not gonna fit. Ah, <laughs> See, it's not gonna fit. My head's massive. Honestly. There we go. Try that. Jesus Christ. We got any Vaseline? Hold on a minute. I, I was trying to make. I was trying to make Thor, and I've made Modok. <laughs> My Thor's really. You know that scene in the film where he's really let himself go. Oh, you need like a hurt. step above. It's done. <laughs> It's done horrible with the face though. It's not good, is it? <laughs> Let's face it, neither of us are going to be superheroes any day soon. So look, oh, I tell you what, here you go. Oh, thanks very much. That's, that's it, that's the set. Vintage. Rust removers is the other alter ego. So that I'm going to keep, because this was a limited edition. I think the Arctic Adventurer. Yeah. Right? So that's him. And then, but this, the, these ones, which aren't particularly sought after, I know, but a couple of those. Flash Gordon, a Green Lantern, a Green Hornet, rather. This one's a nicer box, because you actually see. This one seems like. Would you open that early Doctor Evil? I think this has got a different face. This it might be. It's got a different face. Yeah. 
that's different. That's different, definitely. Yeah, yeah completely different. So that's the original mould. Yeah. Uh, we, and this is that's uh, better. Well, I'm going to say this because I, I might have not have it in my collection. And this, I'm going to keep because that's the Italian. Barovelli. Mi dispiace. Looks like nice, actually. That's like an Amer is that Italian? No, it's not, it looks like an American. Barovelli, yeah. Nice. It's like a Captain American costume, though. Yeah. So we're off to Italy, Jonathan. Anything uh, we should be looking for, do you think? Well, they, the there was a lot of, they loved Jap Japanese stuff, 70s Japanese stuff. In particular, they liked the character Jig, or Gig, that became really big out there, and I still don't know quite why, because it's not that popular anywhere else in the world. I've got a couple of, I've got a Gig thing in there, which I could, uh, I'm probably going to hold on to, so I probably won't let you have it, but you could take it and trade it there, and they would, people would give you, they would swap it for their children. They love Gig so much over there. I don't want any more children. What, a couple of cute Italian kids to do the chores. I don't do the kids too. They don't do the chores. <laughs> no, that's true. Captain Action, remodelled. So does this Doctor Eagle predate the uh, Oh yeah, Mike predates Myers. the Mike Myers one completely. This was, this was, it was originally, this was a Ideal's toy. And it was um, Ideal bought this out uh, thinking they could compete with Mattel's G.I. Joe. And the idea was instead of it being soldiers it was superheroes or kind of comic strip characters or popular tv ah. things pumpkin don't go under there it was quite successful so the toys the figures didn't cost that much but you could get all these really cool suits it was a spider-man suit captain america they tried to relaunch it a few years ago and this is the modern spider-man suit doesn't have the charm of the original molded rubber hood with a split in the back so you can pop it over the head and and the idea was he would change into different things the original spider-man was great although if you collect the original one, it's, it came with a yellow spider, yellow plastic spider, which is trying to find one with all eight legs attached. I've got one. All right. I had a few loose, and of course that it's such thin plastic, such brittle plastic, but you can put that with it. But these are great, you know, if I, if I, if I had a young kid who was interested in superhero stuff, I'd much rather they had toys like this out for them these days than much of the stuff that, you know, like the, the, the Disney toys that have come out with them, because they're just not that interesting. That, that is a comic book artist, Paul Galassi's work. I can tell. I love Galassi. He was uh, very much inspired by Steranko. Oh. That looks interesting. Oh my goodness me. Yeah. So these, these are the less interesting. These are kind of like, in the 90s, this kind of version of Hench and Cyborg villains came out, but they're not proper Hench and Cyborgs. No. It's just all the blown plastic, but very sought after. So you can have that. Thank you. Yes. <laughs> Boys, what do you think of this? Pumpkin's not sure. <laughs> <laughs> okay, let's put that there and we'll torment them with that later. Uh, Gundam. Model kit. I've got about 50 of these. I, there was a Chinese guy selling them and I thought I'd buy some. Didn't know I bought so many. Bought quite a few of them off him. And then he said, let me know if you need any more stuff for your shop. <laughs> and I had to write back and say, oh, I don't have a shop. And he went, ha ha. And I went, no, no, I, I bought for me. Okay. I might, th these are sort of, don't they? Yeah. Is this, uh, this is Medicom. And I did have quite a few of these, but I might get rid of them. So let's start with that one. Okay. Yeah. So this must be 15 years old. They are. They are uh, 2002, I think. 2003. There you go, close enough. You're way off. So way off. 20, 20 <laughs> years old, and look, it's still survived. And it's been bashed into my face, into walls. My son attacked, got out a lot of his youthful rage out of the system with those. <laughs> Oh, look at this, Crash Bandicoot figures. Oh, they're cool. Yeah. These are like the Japanese machines, aren't they? Gashapon. Gashapon. Yeah, we say maybe because that's the noise it makes, so you get your pon. Right. On a map of pick, I believe. So, you want some Billy Blast off? Yeah, I love Billy Blast off. I've got quite a lot of it at the office, so this is, uh, oh, that doesn't, that appears to not have it in it. But, why don't you take that? I'll have that at the office. Okay. This was Billy Blastoff's scuba scale. That's so cool. It's what, beautiful, isn't it? Yeah, I, I love Billy Blastoff stuff. It uh, isn't. It isn't the most popular thing, but I think it's wonderful. But still in the box. Yeah. But I think I've got a couple more of these boxes, so you can have that whole thing. Brilliant. This you can have for free. The Jimmy Carr book. Self-help book. No good whatsoever to me. The last person I'm going to look to for self-help advice is Jimmy Carr. It's a weird cover. It is a weird cover. I might, I might save it just because it is so weird. Yes. I'm keeping this. Cool, yeah, it's cool. Cool, the ball game. Yeah. Unopened. <laughs> uh, fantastic for the ball game. I've got a horrible feeling this will probably be missing some parts. 
Thank you, man. You have got a soft spot for your cardboard sets, haven't you? Yeah. John? I like, uh, well, it's the kind of the printing is what you saw in the stores, you know. And without wishing to be too, bring you down too much, that's all I would have seen. I've re very rarely got to own them. So uh, <laughs> this was enough. Look at that. I'm going to keep that one because I like the box. Uh, oh, 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 look. They're cool, aren't they? Dingalings. Yes, these are amazing. Dingalings. Just such a cool, cool thing. I've got the Dingaling uh, set somewhere. I think this is loose Microman and Mikura Man Takara space station parts. Toys wow, it's a great box of fun. Look at that. Oh my god. So I'm gonna have to I'm gonna have to go through that. Yeah, that's one to go through. It's a day in my life. <laughs> it's, an, it's a nice afternoon. It is quite a nice afternoon. Check this box out. What have we got in here? Oh that's a box of good cool stuff. Gege no kitaro. Again? Gege again no kitaro. It's a series, a uh, Japanese anime and comic book series about a boy who saw a ghost who's got floppy hair covering one eye. And this, I think, might be his father. I'm not sure. Look at that. Robo Q. Little tiny remote control robo. Take that. He's amazing. This goes in my t Billy Galaxy. Love that. Yeah, yeah, that's, that's his cup of tea, that. Tin. Oh, look at that. That is like. They're really cool. That's like an early. Pre, uh, predates, probably predates um, Transformer. I don't know, I think. The tack kind of figure. Yeah. Or do you think it's more modern? I don't think it's modern, no. I think it's about, I think it's around the same sort of time, I think. It looks like those. Um, those wheels, it's. What are those other cars? Gobots, Gobots. Yeah. She looks like more Gobotty, but they did tack. Look, look at these. Got a set of them. I really so. This will be someone's dream bar fight. I love that guy. Oh, it's great, isn't it? Uh, yeah, I've got loads of. That's all the stuff that, yeah. Uh, that's Billy Gallagher. Rabbit hole. Oh, look, this is great. Have you ever seen the original Tin uh, King Kong? Guy cast King, King Tong. Oh, he's amazing. Isn't that great? Oh, man. Look at the face. And look, the planes, to throw the planes at him. Wow. What year is that, Jonathan? That, this would be like, I would have thought early 70s. I'm just trying to see. He's amazing. I would have thought early 70s. He's got boob knives. I mean, that's what you need to survive. Look at that. Looks nothing like the poster. That's the poster of the 70s. So this will be 70s, because that was the 70s version of King Kong that came out. The one that had um, Jessica Lange in. She gets held up by the, the monkey at the end. That massive animatronic hand they built. Yeah. That. King Kong looks nothing like King Kong. <laughs> well, he looks amazing. nothing like King Kong with a bow on. It looks more like um, Mecha Kong. You've you got, know, the, got to get him on display. It's more like Donkey yeah, Kong, right? I'm going to take him up Donkey Kong. He's got, he's got to get him out on display. He's great. Look at this. this these were kind of cool. This was uh, Walking Dead limited edition DVD for one series, and they came with various different... Christmassy. Hello. Ideal gift for the seasonal. Put that in a, an old people's home. <laughs> yes. <laughs> They're crawling off the shelves there. Now look at these. These are quite nice, aren't they? They're, they are nice. You're going to want to keep that. No, I've got loads of these. Oh, that's cool then. Well, you know, yeah, yeah. You can have some of these. Yeah, I like them. Look, they've got three of the same in this box. Yeah, I love them. Load me up. So, so this stuff, okay, well, tell us interesting this is. First time I went to Hong Kong it was about 88. 89, went out to interview Jackie Chan, do an incredibly strange film showing Jackie Chan, Choi Hark, a couple of other uh, Chinese ghost stories. I think we, I don't know if we interviewed, but we spoke to some of the other, like Stanley Kwan, some of the other Hong Kong directors who were making a name for himself back then. And I found a toy shop just out by, as you cross the Kowloon Bay and go up the main street, I found this old toy shop and it had loads of Japanese toys in. And I bought like two suitcases full and bought them back to me. This was one of them. So I bought all these when I was there. So I carried this back for me in a suitcase from Hong Kong in like 1988, which is what, 40 odd years ago? That's cool, man. Yeah, 35 years ago, I carried that back through customs. See, I like all that sort of stuff. It's yeah. all that. That's when I bought that back, but I probably won't keep it now. I have to have a think, look at this. Yeah, that's cool. Yeah, I That's know. really cool. I know, that. I'm gonna, keep that. I know so. I'm gonna keep that for the kids. 
These I bought back. These came back with me from the same. Yeah. Thing. These are those rubber. Are these same... the plasticky ones. Yeah, and they've got plastic armor. That's yeah. Awesome. They're yeah. kind of cool. I don't know anyone who particularly collects I, them. You know, our friend Carlo. I sent yeah. you a message about. He bought one of those off me the other week. Carlo, who gave me the card set. Yes. He's very kind of. He's very. He's poorly. So this stuff you can have. Oh, I think you're right. Well, have to buy. Here's the little boy the Santa Claus forgot. And heaven knows he didn't have, have a lot. lot. And the end bit said, I'm so, so sorry for this that laddie. laddie. He hasn't has got, got a daddy. He's the, the little, little boy the Santa, Santa Claus forgot. These are great. If you've ever been sang at by uh, Matt the Cameraman and Jonathan Ross before, if you've never been sang, it's a wonderful We used experience. to have a band, but it all just didn't <laughs> take off. Slightly awful that we cast you as the sad, pathetic child. Oh, to be fair. Look at this. This is beautiful. Yeah, they're beautiful. Aren't they great? I'm not going to keep them. I've got too much of this sort of thing. I love them. I want someone out there. There must be a collector that's been looking for that. Yeah, definitely. And that. Those yellow ones. I think I, all of these I bought, once again, all of these came back with me from Hong Kong back in the day. And finally, they're going to you. Temporarily, unless your wife lets you keep them. Look at them. I won't keep them. I'm going to take these around there because they're going to fall off in a minute. Hold on. You just want to see them fall over some Thanks for moving my chins. Okay. I'm having a lovely time, really. There you go. Just open your legs. <laughs> there you go. Off you go. Right. Back in the moat. Can I fall over <laughs> the scooter? <laughs> hold on a minute. I'm going to let on go. Okay, hold on. Go. Hold on. <laughs> Have you been bullied in the workplace? <laughs> Have you been affected by any of these things in today's show? Yeah, you have to put a kind of helpline number. I've got to start loading. I've got to start loading the van. Have you got a message for Billy? Because we're going to be obviously this is going to be cut into the Italy episode. I will say, Billy. Oh, hold on. Billy, hold on. It's a classic line. Billy, hold on. I'm just <laughs> looking at a box. Um, so, Billy, uh, you are an inspiration to us all. Not so much in terms of fashion, certainly in terms of just perseverance and keeping at it. Um, because, I, you know, people don't know this, but Billy is actually 87 years old. Yeah. Remarkable uh, regime that keeps him alive. He runs every day and he copulates like a 20 year old to fool his body into thinking he's yuck. And his hat's deceptively heavy. The hat, yeah. It's yeah. like a workout every time he's got it on. Yeah, yeah. The neck muscles on that man. And under the hat, if you lift up the hat, it's full of aloe vera, which is seeping down all day into his head. Mm. The juice of life. Yeah, that's it. I'm allergic to aloe vera. That would explain why you look so old. Exactly. Compared to Billy Gallagher. I've got a very heavy paper round. He's 22. That's my target weight. Actually, you look young. You look young. I'm just kind of because I'm not sure what's in here. Cool, oh, that's a big step, isn't it? It is a big step. Here we go. It's a good sound. Oh, Fantastic Four. No. Oh, some, but also. Oh, the shadow. Oh, Ben Ten figures. <laughs> I like Ben Ten. Of this is the last good toy line, in my opinion. One of them. That's um. Independence Day toys. Oh wow, they were a good toy line. They were a good toy line. And it was a good film. Yeah, it was. Yeah, I mean, I've seen that. Limp Bizkit. Oh wow. Wow. What's this, 2000? 2001? Yeah, 2001. Spider-Man vs. Green Goblin. Recreate the concert experience. I would let you have that. Do you know what that is? That is, um, no, Bob's Big Boy. Yeah. It was a yeah. diner in Los Angeles, yeah. California. I bought that the day I went for lunch at Bob's Big Boy with David Lynch. <laughs> yeah, why have you put the step in? Yeah, would you gone through, wouldn't it not have been? Yes, not, it would have been. Now, did you, you want to show off your prowess? No, I Is thought, look, don't question. <sighs> don't be, don't be I'm Jonathan don't Ross be, and I've got a very wide gate. What's wrong with that? Don't be that's, annoying people. No, I could have been That's a bit Jim. That's a bit Jim, yeah. Bit Jim, yeah. <laughs> yeah. Okay, let's have a quick look in here. Okay, here we go. Italian job scale electric. Fantastic. Come on, you can have it. We well, can't have it, but you can take it. 
Uh, I think I'm going to want to have that. I don't want <laughs> Another Scalex here. It's a painting one the kids did. You don't want that. How about this one here? Cool. Mm. Shall I put them on there? Micromania Scalextric. Oh, yeah. Come on. Ooh. What's his name? Dip, uh, Dippy D. Okay, you can't have it. That's all right. You can't I really have, like that though. It's quite I cool. like that. I'm going to build that. Yeah, that's really cool. Soleimon. Doraemon. Yeah, Doraemon. Oh, what was this his name for him? Ding Dong. Ding Dong. Doraemon is a Japanese name. And this is a Soleimon. So it's a solar powered Raymon. It's cool. Build that. I fully intend to. Look at that. That's going to be good. That's a little project, man. For our friends in um, Italy. Yeah. G. G Glove. This is when G need each other suppository. His mum used to put this glove on. That's. And it's, we'll put it was that, that finger. There was that finger. It had to be that finger, yeah. It looks like the Jig Marigold, doesn't it? This is a weird thing. Do you want to take this with you and see what you can get for it in Italy? Yeah, I can do. Okay, do you want to do that? Yeah. If you get, so foam if you get a good offer. I will. But I might have it back off you. If you don't get a good offer, I'll keep it because I've got a lot of Jig stuff at the office. Right. But I don't think my collection's going to be that much the poor without this in it. It's, I mean, your collection is quite good. Yeah, but and it's an amazing to have. It's, but, it's very good. But I don't particularly need it. It's great you survived, isn't it? It's amazing. Look, here. You want to know who I got that off of? No, go on. Who? Who does you know that off? What is the one name that would make any sense? Charlton Heston. From my cold, dead hands. Oh, Billy. Billy Galaxy. Yeah, but well, I didn't want to keep saying Billy. It might be something different. You know I got that off of? Why don't you just kiss him already? You oh, know, my life. You know I got that off of? Is it off Billy? Yeah, Billy Galaxy. Oh, I can't write that. Do you know I got this off of? Is it Billy Galaxy? Yeah. yeah. <laughs> but as you can see, it hasn't been looked after properly. I mean, it was meant to be looked after properly. It was sent here to keep it safe, but they left it in an area that wasn't very safe. So it needs a bit of restoring. But it's nice, isn't it? That's beautiful. Look at the artwork. I'm going to give that to you. Oh, brilliant. Leave me all the delicate things. Well, I I'm hoping as a custodian of treasures, you will... Uh... Do you know how I got that off of? <laughs> was that Billy Galaxy? No, it was oh. one of the neighbours who was, oh, yeah. was very angry. Yeah. Was that, was that really off a neighbour? No, I don't That'd know. That'd be amazing I, if it I was. Don't, I don't know. It's not ours. I don't I know what it is. I got left. <laughs> <laughs> I went in next door. I said, Madam, <laughs> I present this sign. I do not have a dog. If you don't like the way I behave, tell me to my face. <laughs> yeah. That small scurrying figure on the on the garden at night was not the dog. Do you know who that was, madam? It was Billy Galaxy. And would you like this? I think the box might be a bit flaky at the front there. Hold on. There you go. It's coming down. Hold it. Darth Vader, Darth Maul. Darth Maul, mass replica. Cool. Sealed. Sealed. Sealed, sealed, sealed slightly damaged. Shop soiled. It's whether it's gone rusty inside, isn't it? It won't have gone rusty inside. Should we get out? He stored it in a pool. I did not store this in a pool. This was in this barn. Unfortunately, the roof wasn't intact by then. But now, now when I don't need it, it's now dry as hell. All oh, right, yeah, brilliant. This box is fine. Look at that, it's dry yeah. as a bone. Yeah, it's great. I don't, want, I don't want you to do one of those toy dealer tricks on me where you take it away and you take a picture of one you keep for those yeah. purposes, which you've got a rusty one you save in a box. And when this happens. And you send me the picture and say, this is no, what's going on, mate. It can't give you anything like I've, that. I've worked with eBay as like yeah, you before. Yeah. Let me carry one of the heavier things out for you. I'll take I'll take this and you bring the rest. That's fine. It's great. You know where I got this from? Billy Was Galaxy. it Billy Galaxy? <laughs> We're gonna go t-shirts for that one. So there you go. So fairly good haul. I feel that we only really made a dent on the surface. Well, you know, I was eager to take more, but I did talk you back in in some stuff. Yeah, but I will I will keep going through it. And then you've got to come to London because I've got stuff at my house in London I want to get rid of. Including, maybe not for you. Not this again. I've got the um, I've got some of those Sony robot dogs I want to get rid of. All right, okay. The one I didn't give to Joel. I, 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 I know a small bold man that might be interested in I know in who's after yeah. that. Yeah, but he's got his own shop. I haven't heard good things about it yet. Well, wait and see. It's looking good. Is it looking good? It's looking good. It's not really looking, it's not really a vintage. It's not our kind of... Is it worth a trip up to Leicester? Is it in Leicester? No. Oh, if it's not in Leicester, I don't want to see it. Exactly, come to Leicester, mate. Leicester, home of Gary Lineker. It is, yeah. I know. Yeah, not that he's ever been in the shop. <laughs> not, that he goes, not that he lives in Leicester anymore. I don't think so. No. I, think he's, I think he's way above pay grade. I wish I could say it had been a pleasure. 
And you know what it has. It is what it is. But unfortunately, I desperately at my age, I desperately need to go to the toilet now. Okay. So and I. I've, I've been. I'll be honest with you. I don't think I'll be able to make it to the toilet. So what I'm going to do is shut this door and just go on the yeah, floor in here. So I'm going to. They aren't oil marks from that, are they? And I'm going to be. All right. I'll see you soon. See ya. Take care. <laughs> He's the one, isn't he? Let's go, Matt. We're going to get to Italy. <laughs> oh, that's good, Noah. <laughs> Keep watching Toy Shop on tour, else you'll get a smack. Love you. See you later. And you join us back in Northern Italy. Oh, I love Italy. Speaking of things I love, yeah. how good was Jonathan? It was great to see him again, but <laughs> the pressure's on for you, Joe. You've got those gig items. How are you going to price them? Well, I'm going to use and abuse my friends because Leo will have had more experience with these type of items and I've got a feeling that Billy actually probably owned at least one of these items before. So they're the guys that are in the box seat. They can help me price them, get the best price we possibly can for Jonathan and take him home some cash. Well, we're still a long way away from Rome and Toy Simi Show, so what's next? Well, I have a plan. Do you remember we went to see Fabio and Georgiana at their shop? I do. That was the second episode of our European tour. We said goodbye to Leonardo. Yep. Yeah, we said goodbye to Leonardo and Gloria there. And it was very sad, but we saw an amazing shop. And we're going to nip back and see them right now. I can't wait. It's going to be amazing. I'm going to buy toys, man. I'm going to buy toys. I can't wait. I better get the camera ready then. Here we go. Let's get filming and let's get buying. Oh, we're here. Oh, and also, how? Yeah. Nice to meet you. <laughs> nice to see you again. How are you doing? Good for you. Matt, yeah, Matt, yeah. Oh, wow. So much better. Yeah, I can't wait. Wow, look at this. We've got coffee. I mean, like, just when you thought you couldn't love anywhere more, you get coffee as well. This is amazing. All right, coffee, and then we look round. OK? Deal. Deal. I'm really pleased to be back. I feel a bit unprepared. Uh, if I'm honest with you, because I've just, obviously, we've driven a long way. And then all of a sudden you arrive into this and it's just, it's a feast for the sensors. There's just stuff everywhere. I'm going to buy lots of stuff here. It's one of them. Straight away. I mean, look, there's this blue cassette player at the back. There's two of them in there. This is the kind of thing. That, I think that, that's got an aerial on it. That's an actual radio. I want that. I really want that. That's cool. And I've got that axe in a box of bits somewhere. I wonder what it was. Oh, look at that. Look at this. Three. Count them. Three. Jig Super Counter. That's side swipe but there's three of them you never see them there's three there's three in the there's three there's three there's three there's so much cool stuff in it you know what's nice about being here last time we came here it was the middle of summer it was like 40 plus and it was so hot it's actually quite cool today you know what's nice in this shot everything's just displayed really really well it's lovely to see I would like to point out blast attack on the top here these are known for being breaky breaky because the gold plastic breaks. Uh, this one is unbroken. This one is how they normally turn up, so we'll see in this one it'll be broken, it won't be able to hold together. So it's held together with tape. So inside something's broken, something's gone wrong. Okay, so we've got some nice mask stuff in here, but I just want to draw your attention to this. We have not one, not two, but three E.T. and Elliot's. They're brilliant. Oh, I love these. You don't see them, that QR bike. 
is so, so iconic. It's just a brilliant, brilliant toy. This at one time wasn't worth a great deal, but at 55 euros, that's, that's good value, that is. I like that. Already it started. So what you notice about any really good vintage toy shop is stuff moves, and it moves around quite a lot. Last time we came, all this sort of stuff was over there. Not anymore, this shop doesn't stand still. They've moved things around, it's great. I'm particularly tempted by the Spidey. These magnetic ones are brilliant. This one's had a bit of play wear, he's okay, his thumb's still intact. This one, not so much. So he's lost the end of his fingers and his thumb. So that's one to put back. This one though, this one. Looks a little bit better. Thumbs are intact, fingers are intact. Yeah, he's really nice. Okay, he's got a bit of play wear, but I think I can deal with that. Hmm. Yeah, Spider-Man we like. Yeah! I think out of all the cabinets in the shop though, this one is both Matt and my favorite. Because there's so much amazing stuff in it. It's a cabinet that screams Italian. It screams Italian toys. These Japanese influenced toys seem to be literally everywhere in Italy, and I love them. My problem is, I don't know enough about them yet. This is where you've got to learn. You see, everybody, if you're watching this, you, you might know more about this than I do. And there's, that's the thing with toys. There's always something to learn. Every day is a school day, and you never stop learning. How are you talking, Joe? Amazing. So cool. What a great art. So is that the Red Falcon or is that a different one? I think that's the Red Falcon version. But it might be wrong. Because in the UK it was released in a grandstand box and it had a different name. And elsewhere it's called Red Falcon as far as I know. But yeah, he's lovely. This came, really came from an era where toys were repackaged, reused in different countries. And this one's a cracker. It's easy to see why kids of the 70s and 80s loved this toy. This was known as Red Falcon and it was also released in the UK under a different name, made by Grandstand. Just a really, really cool, cool toy. My favourite is actually the different version of this, because in the UK we had the Grandstand version. Um, this would be something I'd buy for me, because I've not got one, and I quite like one, if I'm honest with you. You could also get one for me, because there's another one in the cabinet. And we could also get one for Matt and scratch two itches with one go, yeah. Stars from the Black Hole line. Again, another favourite of mine. One that doesn't come up very often. And what they suffer with is what we see with this one here, which again, like the Spider-Man we've already seen, broken thumb. Really, really common issue with these. But there we go. Spend the extra money, buy a nice one, and you've got yourself an amazing toy. The guns on these are, generally you get one, not both, with these when you buy them secondhand. This one, you could interchange, change all the bits over, and you could have all the fun of the fair. So if you really wanted to, you could swap them around with the other things. It seemed to be a thing that was set off at this period of these magnetic ones, and they all fit together. I love them, I think they're great, and they, they display beauty now, and that's what I love about them. Just work out every cabinet was something that I absolutely love and adore and this cabinet's no exception. Oh yeah, there's another star robot but the box is a bit nailed. But I'm quite tempted because it's only 10 euros more than the loose one. I want to see what it's like. This is just an outer box really. What's the toy like? Okay. It's got one wheel on his wagon at the moment. Let's see what we get. Oh hello. One gun. Look at the other gun. I found the other gun. Okay. We're going to have this one, not the other one. Even though the box is a bit nailed, I think it's worth the extra bit for that, definitely. You just don't, I've never had one with a box. I mean, it's not really a box, it's a bit nailed, but you know, yeah. Oh, Matthew, look at that. I'll let you call me Matthew just because this is interesting. You're not in trouble. Look, 
You said you wanted one. There's one. Matt's very excited. Matt, do you excited I'm face? I'm very excited. I nobody can see me, but this t two thumbs. Oh man, that's cool. Right, okay. Can you explain who that is? Well, I was hoping you'd help me out with that. It's really steel know. jig. Yeah, I know. Sure. And this is what the original Micronaut Commander, yes. this is the body that they moulded. I don't know which that is. Well, we can ask. Right, that's one we need to ask about that. So it's jig. It's basically what the Micronauts, Baron cars, and everything was based off. It's really cool. It's one they're obsessed with over here. I like the colours. Does it have to be any more than that, really? It's about what we like. Uh, 19 euro. It's yeah. 100. 100. Yeah. Okay. This is uh, uh, the second version. Yes. Why the first? Uh, this is uh, with the point. Yeah. To shop. Yeah. Okay. It's little. There we go. You see, every day's a school day. Fabio has just told me that this version, um, this is the second version. The first version had points on it, but because kids were being blinded, something like that, you know, something terrible happened, they decided to take the ends off. Make them safer, you see. There you go. 100 euros. Yes, that's a yes. Is that the mightiest sword you've ever, you've ever seen, I think? <laughs> I don't think he's really compensated for anything. He's got missiles, he's got wings, he's got a sword, he's got an assistant bird thing. You know, you need a big sword. What Spidey, looking a bit bereft, isn't he? I've got some of these things. They are so flipping amazing. Have a look at the big box at the back. Oh, you got flying. I've got a flying me head. Okay, that's a sign. Where? That means buy it. <gasps> Micronauty Emperor. Oh, Matt. Right, due to technical issues, the show is now bankrupt. Oh, Does anybody want to buy a camera? <laughs> <laughs> um, I've got nothing to offer, I'm afraid. Both my livers have had it. Wow. Oh no, look at these, they're amazing. Oh Matt, I've seen something else I love in here. This is really bad. The thing is, I'm not, in, I'm not really buying too much for like the shop, it's for me. Aren't we supposed to be <laughs> going to a show? This is meant to be a business thing where we buy things to sell to make money and I'm just gonna go, that's going home with me, that's going home with me, that's going home with me. These are so cool. Let's take it out of the box. Let's look in the box. Not got the original inner. Oh, but Matt, he's glorious. Just stuff we didn't see. And because it's versions of toys that we played with as kids, it makes it all the more exciting because it's a version of. I mean, it's just awesome. Look at all this kit. I mean, you can't use the sword separate from the hand, but you know, he's lovely. All his kit and caboodle. So have you ever had any of those in the shop? I don't know. No. Never ever had one of these in the shop. So I'm... Uh... Let's be honest, Matt, he's not really going to make the shop, is he? We can just argue about this later. This is... This is brilliant. This is just amazing. Practical measures means I should really buy that for the shop. X Bomber does quite well. We do sell a lot of X Bombers. This is the sort of more boring box one, if I'm honest with you, but normally I pay a bit less than this. But we'll see what we can do. But you've got to be careful with these, is you don't open them the wrong way up. A lot of bits, a lot of things can go wrong. They also suffer with breakages. This one looks cool, looks all good there. Yeah, that's a nice toy. It's a nice toy. Not for me either. This is just me being, might actually sell something and make some money out of that. You never know. 
crazier things have happened. These are just fabulous. These Japanese derived toys are amazing. And this is a dinosaur with, with basically missiles that fire out his boobs. He's, it, what more could you want? It's amazing. Just, it's a fabulous, fabulous toy. And one which I've not seen for a little while. Oh yeah, I want that. We've not got very far, Joe. We seem to just, just seem to be stood around the same cabinet, spotting more things. This is what it's like. It's just okay. That's going to be a pile because I'll regret it if I don't buy it. But what I would say is I'll probably take it out the uh, out the box. Oh, this is a later one, but it's just really cool. And that's just really cool. Fabio? Is that um, 90s? 2000s? 90s? Yeah, 90s. 90s. How much is that? Yeah, 115. 115? 15. 115. 150. 150. There we go. My English. No, it's your good toy shop. Your good toy shop. My bad Italian, oh, that's the problem. Okay. See, that, that, I'm tempted by that. But then I'm like, oh man. It should be stuff that you just go, why, why, who, who made that? Who, why? You know, and I know it'll be some, there'll be some form of something it's based on, Japanese stuff. But it's just a mental idea in the first place. And I love that about toys. Somebody went, yeah, let's do this. And they go, yeah, and then we'll put big flipper kit, clip things on his hands. And you're like, how will that help? How will he do his shoes? Well, it doesn't matter. He'll just do this. He'll have different, he'll have Wellington boots that he puts on with, with jets in the back. It's mad. He has a couple of funny shoes, though, actually. He has, he has. Slip-ons, got to be. Yeah. You can't beat slip-ons, though, can you? <laughs> no. Oh, my goodness me. This is a bootleg. Nebula Warlord, yeah. Yeah. <laughs> wow. <sighs> so this kind of crazy, crazy, oh, there's a few bits off it there. So you could stand the figure on his own. These were a little bit like the, some of the Tomy offerings of the time. And you can take the body out of here and you clip on his legs. I don't want to do that because the plastic on these is really br brittle. But these are something, Nebula Warlords are something that you only really... <laughs> I've not seen any of these for years and years and years. And really they're something that's consigned to older websites. Because that's where they, you find them, you find pictures. Old websites, is Action Figure Archive, Action Figure dot net. That one. This has got this kind of stuff on it. And nowadays you just don't see it. It's all sat in collections because it is... To all intents and purposes, this is a, a terrible toy. But it's also one of the toys that brings you the most joy because there's so many things you recognise on it. You can see so many influences with this. And it's just, in its own way, it's just sort of wonderful. Look at all these bits. They're like bits like Zoids. There's all sorts going on here. There's influences of Masters of the Universe. Yeah. There's influences of Sectors. There's everything you can see going on with this. There's an influence there, and that's just, I mean, it's so bad. It's, a, it's look at the, um, like the, uh, that Masters is vehicle, vehicle, vehicle. Vehicle, yeah, I'm like a... Um, roton. Roto, roton, yeah, Roton, yes. Roton and Zoids. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Zoids. More All these toys. guns are like Zoids. Yeah. <laughs> Yeah, and the it's a beautiful bootleg. Yeah, it's it's a terrible bootleg. <laughs> terrible, but beautiful. <laughs> terrible and beautiful. Yes, yeah, yeah, same thing. It's hotting up in here in temperature. It's hotting up in the toys. There's just, I'm just, just, just so exciting. My personal collection. Yeah, I knew you were going to say that. I knew it as soon as I looked at it. I was like, oh, that's going to not going to be for sale. Wow, Fabio. This is my personal collection. Man. <laughs> I just... From Japan. Yeah, yeah. Uh, the Tiger Man, so Tiger good. Tiger Man. And the uh, Jig. Yeah. Oh, this so is so cool. My art. <laughs> oh, man. This is amazing. And the first Amen. Yeah, it just... Uh, I just... Tiger Man is a pride for life. 
uh, yeah. is a favorite. It's my favorite. This shop's amazing. But you know what's amazing about this shop? Didn't show you this last time. Come this way. Come on. Yeah. Look in here. <laughs> Lego everywhere. Look at it. It's amazing. There's tons and tons of stuff in here. This is brilliant. What an amazing shop. I mean, look over here. Look at these minifigures. This is great. There's so much stuff here. And the Lego, it just pops out everywhere. Like, I've just seen it. What have I just seen? I've just seen something over here. Where's it gone? There! Wow, the monorail. That is the apple of many a Lego collector's eye. The space monorail set. That was how you knew the kid up the road had definitely had more money than you when they rocked up with this set because you just, this was just an expensive thing, man. What a great toy. I used to look at this with, with wonder and, and, and sort of jealousy over anyone that had it. Uh, great toy. Mirko. Mirko. Si. Okay. Hi. Is, is Hi. It, Matt. Mirko. Mirko. Nice to meet you. This is Mirko who owns this shop which is just next door to Fabio and Georgiana's place. So it's, you know, it's amazing to be here. Is, Lego, is, good? is it business good? Uh, I'm specialized in Lego. Um, I, um, I can find uh, some uh, vintage sets uh, yeah. um, or I collaborate uh, with some artists. Uh, that's because I have uh, the spare parts or uh, someone who loses their parts uh, with uh, they, they, their sets. Uh, but uh, especially I prefer uh, uh, to collaborate with artists. This uh, General Grievous uh, head wow. is uh, from me. Uh, I made it. TARDIS in the window. The big TARDIS in the window, which when we drove past earlier, Madge went, ooh! <laughs> it's one of uh, my first uh, mock. Uh, yeah, mock it's is amazing. Uh, my own creation. This is a jewel. Yeah. It's the first time I found with box the, uh, the white edition. Yes. I always find the blue edition, but the white, uh, the, never. The, the first time the, I the, see in my the life. The blue one is the Renault. Yes. The Renault. white is a Rolls yes. Royce. Yeah. Yes. So this Lego set was one I had as a child. It was my sister Penelope's. And I stole this off her and used it myself and had great fun playing with it. It's quite a robust toy as well for a Lego toy. You, yeah, I'd put my men in there because it's quite a big toy when it's built. It's as big as this box, I guess. Um, but it's a lovely toy. And like the gentleman said, like Mirko said, the blue is the Renault, which is a slightly more common, and then we get the white roller, which is lovely, you know, and that's just a nice thing. And if this is, if that, that Lego is still bright and white like that, that's quite a find. But yeah, nice childhood memory for me, that. Didn't expect to see that in here today. This is one of my child memories. Yeah. One of my favorite sets. No way, you're not old enough for that as a child. Uh, I hereditated from uh, my uncle. Okay, yeah. But I, re I always remember the, the, the yellow on the box. Uh, it yeah. reminds me a lot of good memories. So pre-horses, we had Lego horses you had to make up. Only later did the actual horses come. So this is pre that. And then we had these, these were stuck on like, these were made like a paper these little transfers that went on them. But yeah, brilliant toy. And I think, I might be wrong, I think that was the first time that tree came on a set. Although I could be completely wrong on that, but it's the first time I remember it anyway. My, my favorite is, uh, I think uh, this, the Lion King castle. Yeah. It's one uh, of my favorite child memories from 1993. Always loved to play with this set. So good on the Castle and Space range and many other LEGO rangers, they're now rehashing it. What's scary to think is really those rangers were still going when I was, these would have been six, seven years old, some of these older sets, when I was starting out buying toys for me as a grown up. That's scary, I feel old all of a sudden. Man, gotta be careful with this because these get very frail down here. 
this is the baseboard that you would have played with them on. And this is why, you look at these little things down here, look at the motorcyclist down there. Imagine how, disappear, how they would disappear up your hoover. Brilliant. But when you open it up, you see what Lego really was. You built your buildings on the green blocks. It's so rare, it's so, so difficult to find because uh, lots of people, yes, but lots of people throw it away because no, it's not Lego. Throw it away. And it's Lego. <laughs> Look at this display of minifigures. Absolutely tons of them. They're really nicely displayed as well. This is why Lego's so good. It frees your imagination, you just do what you want. It's brilliant. What a great shop. But I want to finish up next door and see what I can buy for me. And the shop, but mainly for me. I keep seeing things. The problem is here, you look down, first of all you do the first sweep looking at the, the things sort of on top and you still miss stuff then you don't you need to get down to have a look look at these arco beasts in here they're so cool they're so cheap they're so naff but there's something really charming they're a bit D, &D weird weird toys and these arco toys are great if they were in package i'd be very tempted loose i don't know i can't look at them too long because i might buy them and i bought enough wow Exciting. So I've got some things, so we're going to give you a pile of things that I'd like to buy and see what you can work out for me on the price. I'd like so. to buy? I would like to buy. <laughs> I'm happy. <laughs> There's him. Okay. How, how, much, is, how much is I'm he? calculator. How much is that? How much uh, uh, weight? Uh, this is 140. Okay. Okay, so we're going to go with... Those two, him, even though he's a bit flippy floppy. Yeah, I'm very uh, but he's got good fingers, you know. But uh, I am very good for price. You are very good for price, and that's amazing. This is amazing, what amazing a... Japan <sighs> robot. It's beautiful, that's going nowhere. And then we've got an X bomber, X bomber, and then we've got an emperor, emperor. Yeah. with no illness, but you know, he's nice so. Fabio, over wow. to you, my friend. Put you are in my hands. Exactly. <laughs> like putty in your oh hands. Oh my god. And this is the price for all. Yeah. It's for you. Oh, amazing. Yes. Thank you very much. Do you like ca cash or card? No problem. No problem. Okay. You pay, don't worry. <laughs> some nice pieces. We have. We've got some nice pieces. Which is your favourite of all of these? What's your favourite? My favourites. Yes, of these. Um, uh, oh my god. <laughs> your favourite? Yes. Yeah. Hey, hey. Jigger Boys. Uh, we didn't see them in the UK. In the UK? No. <laughs> You're still my job. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you very much. Um, Thank you. Grazie, grazie, grazie. Prego, prego, prego. Prego, prego, prego. Grazie, grazie, grazie. Pizza, pasta, vino. We're going out. Carbonara. Oh, yeah, yeah. Ciao. Bye bye, bye my bye, friends. Bye. Ciao. Bye bye. 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 Wow. What a fantastic trip so far. It's been brilliant, isn't it? Their shop as well. It just gets better and better and better. There's one thing though, Joe, I'm feeling a little bit uneasy. Not having Gav around, but at the same time, I feel like his presence is with us. I know what you mean. I didn't want to say anything at the time, but it just feels a little bit like, like he's actually here with us. There's definitely some weird stuff going on. Come on, Joe, I'm getting the speed, so let's get back to the hotel. Brother. Go away, Joe. I already bought everything. <laughs> <laughs> this is mega. This is so cool. 
No, I haven't sold the jingle. I'm going to have sold the other gun set. We're going to buy some more toys, aren't we, Billy? Of course we are. We might even sell some. How are you doing, man? Eh? <laughs>